All right, everyone, welcome to another episode of Afterthought. Today, we have a guest back. Uh, he's a pain in my ass. Ty, come on in. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Good. We're back at it again. We This time, we did a horror film instead of a comedy. Um, the film that we're doing today is Invisible Man that came out in 2020. I think it came out around when the pandemic started and they pushed it to streaming. Um, I don't remember. I actually didn't even know this movie came out, so that sounds about right. Yeah, I think that's kind of how it happened, because I think I saw it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to see that in the movies, and then I think um, it just went to streaming, so I was like, I'll see it when I see it. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard about this movie coming out probably like a while ago, like around 2017. I was like, oh, they're remaking The Invisible Man? Yeah, because there was like another Invisible Man back yes. in like the early 2000s. Was that related? Um, I don't think so. I know, I know. Check that, <laughs> uh, somebody check that, please. <laughs> it, there, I do remember there was an Invisible Man uh, movie. Uh, somebody told me it was Kevin Bacon, but I, I, I'm not even sure. But it was um, terrifying to me as a little kid. And I remember it was like a science project. And they, what the, There's the, the old classic ones from like the 30s. Oh, um, also then this is just a thing that keeps happening, huh? Yeah, it's sort of like... Uh, Frankenstein or I don't know. That's all I can think of. <laughs> it's the legend. Uh, it's the legend that keeps continuing into different variations. Um, yeah. Well, I'm sure it's like based off of a book too or whatever. Yeah, I think this is based off of a book, but you know, movies, they always change it around just a little bit. And they definitely changed this one around. But yes, we'll get they to, did. Yeah. Yes, they did. So, uh, well, let's get right into it. What did you think of the movie? Well, um, thoughts overall? Uh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, I really. Yeah, this movie was pretty good. I was skeptical going into it because I was like, "Oh, uh, you know, it's a horror movie. It's like a remake." And usually, when the, like horror movies, modern horror movies remake things, mm -hmm. it never goes well. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, especially with um today because you know they want to CGI everything, and sometimes it doesn't always look so good. Yeah, and yeah. the seat. Well, luckily the guy's invisible, so there's not a lot of CGI to be done i mean but is there because they got to get rid of they have to have a fight with somebody you saw that fight scene in the living room yeah like, a lot of strings and things that were going on <laughs> to make that look real and it looked pretty good i was gonna say yeah it looked it looked fine yeah it looked pretty it, good i didn't have nothing to complain about it um yeah what did well, you think of it i well i'll start with this so i was writing down notes as i'm watching this and um the first note that came over the movie, we went through half the movie. And then when it got to her friend, um, I'm going to torture his real name. So I'm going to say James. James, the police officer. The black guy. Yeah. I said, yeah. this is my notes. I said, that's a fine ass motherfucker in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I said, I said, I know why they put black folks in the movie to help narrate this shit to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> you notice throughout the movie, like all the black people in the movie were really helping the story along, and I felt like they were speaking how I was thinking. James was definitely like the voice of reasoning, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, for real. But, yeah, he he was definitely like one of the better characters in that movie, especially near the end. Um, even yeah, I, even, I'll say this: she. Uh, you go ahead. You go ahead, because because no, I, I have saying, a lot. Yeah, no, I the whole time I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, please don't kill him. I think they made him so beautiful because they wanted us to really <laughs> fall in love with this guy, so that we were hoping because they kept threatening him and his, his his daughter and his life the whole damn time, and it was driving me nuts because I was like, I don't want him to die. Yeah, please don't die because he was so oblivious to the fact that there is a visible man walking around his house. It was so frustrating seeing everybody not believe her, but also. Yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she looked pretty crazy. I was like, this girl is, is a hot mess. Yeah, they they really made her look crazy, like, successfully. I was like, you know, like, outside, her, like, even, like, near the, like, middle of the movie, before we even see the guy, I was, like, in my head, I'm like, she, she might just be crazy. Like, this just might be all in her head. Yeah, like, but even in the restaurant scene where, where remember that that awesome knife scene where it showed up right next to her and then slid her, her, her fan? That was fucking crazy. That was so crazy, but I was like, there's no cameras? Did anybody notice that there's a floating knife? Like, 
that just kind of there was some well, okay okay where i'm like come on well okay come but on. think about think about this way right think about how many videos you see on the internet where you see something floating in the air or or ghost caught on video type shit and you're like that's bullshit you know what i mean like there's something going on people yeah. will look at the video and be like oh it's like they they'll find something to be skeptic about you know yeah that's true Today's age. that's true but i mean even oh. in people in the restaurant i'm like come on but i guess it happened in a split second so nobody really noticed because nobody's really paying attention to everybody's conversation i know i i'm not if i'm in a restaurant i don't I'm not listening to anybody too busy, in the, too <laughs> busy yeah. in the food meanwhile i'm being nosy on the other team i'm like oh they're breaking up oh breaking <laughs> you up. would know this you would definitely yeah, i would know, know that <laughs> <laughs> nobody would believe you <laughs> yeah one thing i thought about in the movie that um i don't know if you'll agree with me but I wrote down that uh, her husband should have been more creepy looking. Oh, because, Adrian? Yeah, because he was too, like, you know, average, like, JCPenney, like, you know. He looked creepy to me. Model, I've... like, he's, like, promoting athletic wear for the family. Like, he just seemed very simple. And you know I who he looked like, like to me? Who? Ryan Gosling. Really? Yeah. But even Ryan Gosling would have been a more interesting character. Like, I wanted a character where you look into his eyes, like, say, like, um, what's his name from The Shining? Um, Jack Nicholson? Jack Nicholson. Picture that guy, like, rich, that it... clean cut, but them yeah. eyes, them eyes that he gives, picture that invisible. That's terrifying. Yeah, but, okay. But that I, I saw those eyes. I saw those fucking creepy-ass eyes, like, near the end. Yeah, the, the whole movie, the whole movie really didn't give a lot of close up shots of, of him until near the end. You yeah, notice that? And, and, and I, I don't know why, because I wanted I wanted them to make us feel like a cold shiver down our spine when we saw his face. You know what I mean? Because that helps the whole invisible aspect, knowing that that creep is invisible and just following me. Not mm. some hot guy that's invisible following me because I'd be like. <laughs> Well, that's you. <laughs> I was creeped out the entire time. I, I was actually, I was actually um, watching it, watching it. I was like staring like down my hall, mm -hmm. like just picturing like, what if there's like an invisible person right here, just like staring? That's weird. That's creepy. Just that. I guess just the thought it creeps me out. Yeah, and then I, uh, the brother, I knew he was a part of it. Like, I don't think. You think he it was you think he was really like a part of it? That you, there is no way that you have a whole blood brother and he's not aware of some a major like breakthrough you've had in your basement on some like invisible technology. You don't think he knew a little bit? I'm yeah, sure he I knew, know. but <clears throat> but I think he I think Adrian was still like manipulating him cuz I I felt that he was just like that asshole that just sort of like like he's super rich. Like you can't, you don't get that rich from being nice. You have, you gotta take advantage yeah. of the control. You have to be powerful, and manipulative. Yeah, I and mean that's I, just his nature. I I knew he was he was a part of it when she took the pen, um, the, took the pen from his suitcase when she was in prison. Remember when she was in prison and he came to offer like the last deal to yeah. take the deal, and then she took his pen. And I'm like, okay, so if her brother, if her husband is invisible and he's watching this whole situation why didn't he like do anything when she took the pen from her brother his brother's suitcase did, did he we don't know if he saw so because that's the thing he you know but he, it turns out the brother was a part of it as well but that, yeah. that just kind of seemed weird to me because the whole movie you're thinking in the perspective of somebody's watching me at all times yeah. so anything i do that looks like it could uh, affect me negatively as an invisible person trying to get yeah. her like I would be on that. And so the fact that they, she took that pen, I was like, okay, something's up here. Well, yeah, I agree with that, but it, it, they didn't go into that. That's what I was kind of hoping to when, when yeah. she, when she killed him and it was revealed to be the brother, Tom, I think his name is, I was like, Oh, it's, it's all going to start clicking together. Maybe he actually liked her the whole time and he was jealous. You know what I mean? That, that I think that's where it was going to go, but it didn't. Yeah, I could see that. Or, or I don't know, maybe he was just like, like I was thinking like Adrian really is dead and it was Tom the whole time and Tom was just like pissed off for some reason. I don't know. Like, I, I was I was feeling that narrative. I was like, I could see that being the narrative, but it just kept switching up on me, which I like. It keeps me going, yeah. you know, yeah. right until the very end. Where but it's the, confusing. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah, it is I, confusing. I, I don't know who, like, 
like you said, like you think your you think the brother was like involved, and I think he wasn't, and it's just like that sort of like, um, I don't know, it it, it wasn't clear, it wasn't clear. Yeah, yeah. How would you feel about the ending when she got her revenge? But it was satisfying. It was satisfying, but then part of me was like, okay, but where are we going to go with this? Because she has the suit in her bag, the beautiful black man knows, um, and he's he's, un- <laughs> he's he's uncomfortable about it, and she's walking away with the smirk on her face, and I'm like... Was he? Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's he knew what she did. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then she was like, you're not going to tell anyone, and then he like, you see in his head, he's like, nah, because he even said, he's like... All I heard him was he killed himself. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he because why would he get involved anymore? He's got well, a he, Yeah, and and supposedly Adrian tried to kill his daughter. So yeah. He he would feel the same way. Yeah. I feel the same way. Especially after the fact that he, technically he killed his wife or girlfriend. I don't know. Where were they? The the the, the white girl that got slit? Her sister. <laughs> you know what's funny? I thought they were together, but it, I think James is just um, C's friend, and then the sister. Is, no, because just her sister. No, because in in the um, in the restaurant scene, she mentioned how you know you have like this very authoritative personality, and I need that strength. And even you could beat up James or whatever. I'm like, she's like, yeah, you could beat up James. But yeah, James know. is a big muscular guy, but there, I don't think there was any part where they, cause you know, if she came to the front door at his house, they like yeah. would have had some type of chemistry, but it was just more like a friendship chemistry. I, I did yeah. think about that though. It did seem a little unclear. Cause I was like, what is going on? Here? It was, yeah, it was very unclear. Plus where's the mother then? Like he has, he has this they mixed looking daughter. They never, <laughs> I know. And I was like, that daughter don't look like she has like a completely white mom, but I was like, she could be something. I think, I think maybe they were, I don't know. Maybe that was the baby mama. <laughs> um, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Well, I looked up some things. Uh, I heard a couple of things about this movie. Now, this movie just came out, so I don't have too much that I heard in the streets. But I did hear. <laughs> On the streets. I know. <laughs> I'm really trying to dig through. Um, no. So I guess uh, his brother, Adrian's brother, um, the husband's brother, Tom. So I guess they dressed him in tighter clothes um, to make him feel like it, nothing about him fits. Everything is off. So they made his wardrobe smaller. Oh. To um, Just a subtle nod to that to kind of add on to his character seeming a little off. That makes sense because he did seem very off. Yeah, um, I want to go back and watch how tight his clothes were because I was like, I don't know. No, yeah, I noticed that. Actually, no, I did notice that because I was, I don't know why I was watching the movie and I was just like staring at his tie. And I was like, that tie looks weird. Like yeah. it just looked kind of too big on his, on his, um, on his body. I was just like, something's off. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah maybe that's uh, what, that's what kept me going about him the whole time. Yeah. I was like, I just don't believe this guy. Something's up with him. He's, he knows something. He's not right. disconnected from his brother, you know? You're right. He was definitely yeah. involved somehow. Now, now the pieces are falling together. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rewatch it again because it's probably like hidden details. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like I just found out that this movie was filmed in Australia. Australia. Australia, which I was like, what? Okay, that explains uh, the weird scenery, and because it just it, didn't feel like around here. No, no, you're no. right. And I was, I was trying to piece things together and. There was just there was this feeling of just like being disconnected. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It like, just seemed weird, especially that house. Yeah. That, I mean, you could be the most richest in the world, but that house just seems so. I don't know. Fake. Fake. Not yeah. Even fake. Like but, a set. I yeah, I wouldn't even want to live there. To be honest, like, like if. Yeah. Why would I want to live there? She just doesn't seem like the type of person that would just pick up and move into that type of lifestyle. Like I who, would be. Yeah. Who Who's this man finding this random chick at some bar? It's like, oh, I'm going to, you're my wife now. 
I'm obsessed with you now. Uh, she's not even like all that. Like, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> she's not. drag her. Uh, shout out to Elizabeth Moss. You hear this? You hear this? I'm gonna add her. Damn. Now, now she won't be a guest <laughs> on the show anymore. No, yeah. she's 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 pretty, okay. but she's oh, not. now you clean it up, right? <laughs> she's not like. Oh, I got a fucking. I need it. I need her. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, so I, I, I confirmed uh, what I was thinking. So I guess the director, he said, uh, I guess there's a quote where he says, not only is Aldis, so James, a very handsome fellow, he's also one of the nicest people I've ever met. And it continues on how he's just gawking over this guy about how amazing he is. And yes, it when you see him in the kitchen, okay, shout out for, for my folks. When you see him in the kitchen and them pants are tight and that body looking right and that gun's right there and he's just sitting there acting all normal like somebody's hot dad, I'm like, what is going on? I'm, I'm, not, a creep. I'm not a creep, but I'm like something. They, they, they made it a point to make this guy look so goddamn good. I'm not a creep, but I need that invisible suit is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, snoop around in it for a little bit. <laughs> no, it, it's it's the same thing with every like horror movie. You know, they make like the hot girl super hot yeah. and then they kill her off just to make a point in the movie. Like this is what this killer is capable of doing. Yeah. Such a beautiful person. Because if it it's was always, a yeah. person, nobody. They cares. always live. They, yeah, the ugly chick always lived. Uh, to the end. Okay. Oh, really? No, no, the average looking chick. The like ugly one. Elizabeth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. You hear this, Elizabeth? Oh, my goodness. Listen, she is, she's okay. Wow. <laughs> Her sister was better. Um, oh. And she died. <laughs> so that proves my point. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah. So moving on to the next part is uh, my would you rather questions. Oh. I got a couple. I don't know. Did you come up with any? Because I'm going to let you go first. First. Okay. I, have, I, I, always be, I always be taking people's questions. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's see if we have the same one. So let's say, for example, you was in a relationship with some crazy rich Adrian. Let's say he was in a relationship with Adrian. Would you, would you stay with him even though he's like controlling? Um, but you have this like beautiful house, money, mm -hmm. an invisible suit. Or would you or would you leave like 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 Elizabeth has left? <laughs> For whatever nothing, reason. And have go back to my And have nothing. Life. Um, but you weren't alive and, and live with this this black man that <laughs> it's super nice <laughs> Which, in love with my my giant black beautiful man um i guess the question is would you rather be with the black guy or or the, uh, the husband <laughs> yeah, you're, damn, you're damn right i'd rather be with the police officer instead of um the crazy uh billion millionaire yeah no i'm i don't care what my house what i have access to living with somebody like that who's that controlling will make any type of lifestyle a living hell. And I don't want any part of that. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's some people who are willing to put up with that, but not me. Yeah. No. Well, you don't know. You don't put yourself in that shoes. What if, what if, uh, what if the dick is really good? I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, now that changes everything. I just threw a wrench into the, uh... no, absolutely not. I will not. No, I'm not falling for that. No, I don't care. Although you know what happens when shit be good. People start yeah. making stupid ass decisions. I mean, look at, look at friends or people around us. It's like, why are you dealing with this? It's like, but you know, he's just so nice. And you know, <laughs> He's not that mean. I mean he He's beats me a couple mean. of times, but you know, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, no, 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 no. He no, could no. be my if he could beat his pussy, he could be my face. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was toxic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Ty, out, cancel Ty right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. let me move on to my question. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, would you rather do what she did at the end of the movie? or let him live and find a way to get him back in a way that doesn't make you look creepy. Uh, well, okay. Well, she and has hella, the, and hella um, guilty because yeah, well, yeah. she has the suit, so she could True. have definitely prolonged it. Like, yeah, make him suffer like she did. But she, I think I, go ahead. 
No, because I, I think from what the movie said, I mean, it looked like he had two suits, right? It didn't look yeah. like he had three. Now, obviously, he can make another one, but I feel like that would take a long time to make those type of outfits. So she has a, a time gap before, yeah. you know. I think that was the second one. suit that she has. The second one. Yeah, right? that was the second one because they destroyed the, the first one. one. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? That's a good point. There is two. So... I know this is a different tangent, but that, that that proves your point that the brother was probably involved. Why would there be two suits? Exactly. Hmm. They were in on it a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. Um, I would probably have to say I would... Well, if I was crazy, I'd prolong it. Like, if I was, like, unstable and sadistic... Like so you're calling was. me unstable and sadistic. I'm not calling anybody anything, but you know no, what? I would wait. You I would wait until I get my chance so I don't look so guilty because, oh, you go to his house and have dinner and now he's dead? Well, it's on camera. True, but not, the, the, everybody knowing that there's an invisible suit, you don't think like, hmm. Maybe you think everyone knows? It. Well, okay, but do you think everyone knows there's a second one? Yeah, well, oh, well um no mm. actually no i don't think so the, yeah she this is probably the perfect crime she just got away with like the the perfect crime but yeah. yeah unless they find notes that he has two suits and if somebody really cared that much which they will because that's i mean to have an invisible suit that's unheard of so you know this is going to go down in history as being one of the most craziest things ever to happen they're gonna yeah, look no, into it's, it it's gonna be heavily heavily like investigated and his whole his whole house should have been just like shut down the government should have been in there just like okay you have this invisible suit mm -hmm. give it to us so we could go spy on russia or whatever Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like just just like going there like i feel like um getting really technical yeah i think she'll still be found yeah out so yeah i would wait i would wait yeah, I mean, I don't know. I would, yeah, I'd wait too. Also, I, I have another one on that uh, to piggyback off that. Would you keep the suit or would you burn that last suit? Mm, that's a good question. Because if I say, I, if I say I'd keep it, then I look like a creep. <laughs> but if I say burn it. Uh, nobody went there but you. <laughs> <laughs> but what else would I keep it for? <laughs> spy on her dead sister <laughs> or something. <laughs> What else would I keep the the suit for? I wouldn't I wouldn't destroy it though. Do you know what I would do? I'd probably sell it. Really? I would try really? To, I would, sell it. I would try to get some amount of money. That from is it. the most messy thing. <laughs> or sell it to the government or black market. No, I would keep that for myself for a rainy day. I don't know how exactly. I would it. What rainy day? What's what's a rainy day for Marshall? I don't know. Mm. okay whatever so <laughs> suit because i don't know how to charge it i don't think it plugs up to my iphone adapter so then yeah I'll, I'll sell it to the government sure probably you probably need like uh what are those android those android chargers <laughs> <laughs> those are compatible with everything <laughs> yeah, <facts. laughs> um, um but so what would you rate this whole movie overall out of it, four stars, four being the best, one being the worst. Okay. Um, I've been changing it, but I have my final answer. I got to think about this. Can you go first? Sure. Out of four stars, I would give it a three. Um, What's your not, reasoning? It's not the best best, but it's it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a good take on this this kind of for, Invisible Man format. You, know? you haven't I mean, seen the original. That's true, but I feel like it'd be better. I feel like it'd be better than original. I mean, it came out in 2020, so technology has advanced so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like how You're there right. was there was some interactive stuff, and then they had some hot characters. I'm not gonna say who, but you know, <laughs> I um, wonder who uh, Elizabeth Moss. You know, obviously. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I see you switch sides already. <laughs> um. And I think, you know, what they did with it, it worked, you know. Um, I was yeah. kind of debating whether the two or three, but I give it a three, you know. I think it has what it takes. I think I'm going to have to agree with you. Three yeah. three sounds right. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but it was fine. It was okay. And yeah. that's, that's where I like to stick it, just okay. <laughs> <laughs> because it, honestly, it's like, 
I've, I don't think I've seen the original, but I like the way they modernize this. Yeah. Because I, I, I remember the original, I think he's just like, I don't know, fell in like a, a tub of acid and it was like, I'm invisible or some something stupid. I don't know. I really this, to, When did this original come out? In the 30s, I think. The 30s. Okay. Yeah, this, this is old. The book was, was written by that guy. Wow, Ty. <laughs> Got your, your information um, together. Hold on. <laughs> I know. Google it while I sit here and talk to the people. Hey, by the way, did you guys know that um, you could follow the podcast, uh, Afterthought Podcast, on Instagram and YouTube? And we're on all streaming services when it comes to podcasting. So Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. So check us out. Um, and uh, I'll be posting a link somewhere to get all this information so you can get into it and follow us and see what happens next. Is that good enough, Ty? <laughs> that was perfect. So <laughs> um, is, his name is H.G. Wells. You've heard of him? He's an author. Uh, nope. Nope. Never oh. heard of him. All right. Have you have you heard the book called The World of the Worlds? War of the Worlds? Sounds familiar. Have you seen the movie with Tom Cruise? No. Okay, this is pointless. <laughs> well, this, he, is, he's, this, this is why I'm doing movie podcasts so I can learn about these things. <laughs> good point. Good point. So, here's a little. Um, did you know uh, he wrote War of the Worlds? He's he's an author. He 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 does a lot of um, sci-fi slash horror novels. Um, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, one of them was uh, The Invisible Man. So. I heard that this was supposed to be a part of a universe of some sort, like a like a superhero type universe. Oh, you know how they I, have like multiple stories in one big. Yeah, so there there was a um, it's like one of their cinematic universe. Uh, who made the Invisible Man? Who published it rather? So you know how like Marvel has their thing and DC has yeah. their thing. So the people that made the Invisible Man, which I'm gonna pull up right now, is um. Not sure who, but oh, Universal. So Universal was doing their like Universal Monster Verse thing, mm -hmm. and they were gonna release like, I think one of them was uh, the Mummy, Invisible Man, um, Dracula. Yeah, and I think Frankenstein. I heard this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're they're gonna release up and yeah. The issue though was that the Mummy, the one with um. Tom Cruise, second time we're bringing him up. <laughs> um, that one bombed horribly. So they're just scrapping that idea. They're not going to do like a universe type thing. So yeah, the mummy is not something that H. Well, I don't think that can ever come back. Well, why? <laughs> Which, I don't know. It just just. Which one are you talking like about? The uh, all of them? Because I watched. All of them. I did watch all of them recently. Um, the one with um. What's his name? Brendan Fraser? Sure. Yeah. Ugh. But I, I watched it. Remember the one with The Rock where he's a Scorpio, like a super Scorpio king? That's the one with Brendan Fraser. It, yeah, it looked great when I was a kid. And then I watched it on TV oh, and I was like, oh. wow, this is really bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's just bad. But that's why they need to modernize it. <laughs> so it needs to come back. I mean, if they modernize it, I want like... I want something that's very close to historic records. I'm not asking. I mean, this is obviously a lot of fake stuff, but like it's you know Mr. how Mommy. <laughs> I know you. You know how Hollywood loves to like rewrite history and tell stories and put white people yeah. in places where you're like that. That doesn't. No, that's not right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just I want it to seem more like thoughtful when it comes to making a history piece of some sort, even if well, it's, it's fantasy. It's not a history. Piece. Even if it's fantasy, like okay, okay, like, okay. Like I was playing Tomb Raider, the most recent one I could think of, and they even had like a little message saying that they try to make it as accurate to you know to real what? life to real <laughs> life, you know to kind of like to mirror real life to make it feel more real but obviously they had a, a you know you know some fantasy twist on it i like yeah. that yeah. I, I don't i mean i don't like when i see something i'm like okay clearly they just made that up because they needed okay. something to pivot the plot or whatever you know that has nothing to do with the indigenous people that are in the video game so who would you cast in, in a theoretical mummy? Uh, not The Rock. 
Uh, <laughs> why not the rock <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay so who i don't know i don't the know. guy that played james <laughs> <laughs> just put him in everything <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about but i it, it maybe help the cgi a little bit maybe make it look a little bit more you know realistic i don't know yeah. Well, they, that's what they tried to do, and it didn't go well. well and clearly, it didn't work. So, I... Well, they cast Tom Cruise. That's why. <laughs> I'm yeah, kidding. I, yeah. I Tom don't Cruise know. is whatever. <laughs> I, I, don't really, I don't really see his movies like that. And it's not that I don't like him. I just, every time I see his movies, I'm like, oh, that's, that looks cute. You know, maybe I'll yeah. see that in the movies. They're just not that good. That's, that's pretty much all it is. Yeah. I would, you know, who I'd love to see. Although I, I'm sure she's tapped out of it. I wish Angelina Jolie would come back and do another Tomb Raider. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I mean, how I old know, is she now? I know. I don't. I don't know if that. Well, I, the Tomb Raider. I think she keeps. She keeps going until her um, uh, older age. I'm trying to find a nice way of saying it. Tomb Raider's still kicking. Laura Croft is still kicking. She's an old woman. So maybe I don't know. They can yeah, buff her up uh, and. How, okay, I'm looking her up right now. She is. I mean, <laughs> she is my the, Laura Croft. <laughs> that's fine. They made a new one. Um, they did, and I saw it, and I yeah. Mm -mm. You didn't like it? No, nah, it was it was rough. It was really? cute. It was cute. Wait, don't say anything because maybe maybe that's gonna be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably about that. not. <laughs> <laughs> Only good movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could do it. I, I mean, I want some really like trash buckets come on the show. No, so no, I can. No, that's fine. I mean, I haven't seen this, so I don't know if it's good or bad. I have no opinion. Hmm. Well, but I would love to watch it. Well, maybe I in like the future. Laura Croft. Maybe in the future. Maybe that'll be our next episode. Because, Ty, you know, we, we always do a lot of episodes together. We We have good chemistry. You know, yeah. uh, a lot of my friends were saying, like, we have good chemistry. So I was like, why not keep up with it? I guess. Although, Ty, <laughs> I got to split it up. I got to get some some other guests up here, some, some new I know. fresh meat. People are probably so annoyed with my disgusting nasally voice and no. loud ass. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> listening, <Nope>. to myself, <laughs> listening to myself is so, like, hard to do because I'm like, oh, so, so. <laughs> you know I mean? like, my voice just fucking... Every time I talk, I talk really low. Then my laugh just spikes up. Well, when you when you feel like you're gonna laugh, just take the mic and move it away from your just face. Just move it away from my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, from what I hear, you know, you you well, that's how everybody is with their voice, right? We all hear our voice and we go, "Ugh, I hate that." Right? Uh oh. <gasps> Did he freeze? Oh no, he froze. Well, you guys, um, we're still in a pandemic. Uh, a lot of these calls are on Zoom. Actually, all of these calls are on Zoom uh, until further notice. So, yeah. Hello? Oh, he's back. Okay. Sorry. There's a technical difficulty, I guess. Yeah. I'm just telling people, like, this is still, like, through the internet. And uh, there is going to be some some buffering going on, some lagginess. So, but, Yeah. I think I dropped connection. But, right, yeah. Sorry. Overall, I think you're great. Clearly, we're, this is pretty good because um, people respond to us. Uh, so maybe we will do Tomb Raider in the future or something else. Other I'm than even, that. I'm shocked people respond to, to, yeah. to us. I, I mean, it <laughs> is funny. The, the, what was the, the only comment I did get was um, people thought you were white. <laughs> I, I'm still shocked by that. Which I just too. find so funny. You, but uh, some people have that voice where it's universal and it could be anything. Like, like The Rock. <laughs> like the rock look at you pulling it back into that freaking Gotta pull it right cute. back oh well we're gonna watch the mummy <laughs> i don't know about that you're gonna have to you have to fight me um <laughs> hey if we're, if we're watching tomb, tomb raider we gotta watch the mummy too <laughs> whatever whatever well that is our episode for this week uh thank you guys for listening again Stay tuned for updates. I'm going to be switching it up a little bit. You know, we got to keep growing, keep growing. Yeah. I'm going to try to be more interactive and show my face more because uh, I'm always like, I don't want to post anything about me, you know, whatever. I'm starting off slow, right? And maybe later on we'll do some video recordings or, you know, something. We all know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> like Elizabeth Mock. <laughs> <laughs> like Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> I was gonna say like like James. 
Oh, 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 no, no, I can't. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. That's, that's perfection. That's like, that's like, that's like six hours a day at the gym every day. <laughs> Literally, no eating. Uh, all I eat is almonds. And I almonds, baked chicken, brown rice. <laughs> 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 that is literally the meal prep plan right there. Like every guy who wants to take his workout seriously, he's got a big jug of water, uh, that, chicken, bland chicken, <laughs> rice, and maybe some almonds when he's feeling frisky. That's what everybody does. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna diet today. You go, go straight to the stop and shop, get some Uncle Ben's. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm I gonna, actually, huh? I actually made some uh, uh, for work. I was like, let me try something healthy, and all I had was. I legit all I had was brown rice and chicken. I was like, shit. <laughs> this, this looks like I'm trying to diet. <laughs> so Ty's trying to diet. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually starting to go to the gym. Trying to be uh, healthy. Yeah. Trying to lose some weight. Four pounds so far. Ooh, I think that was just water weight. Probably. 100 percent water weight. <laughs> that was that was a talk about from the other night. <laughs> Oh my god. Yikes. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that one. We'll save that for another episode. Next time. <laughs> but for now, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Uh bye. Uh, ciao. <laughs>